Welcome back. We are just a day away from Valentine's Day and an organization is asking us to remember our senior citizens. So joining us is home care assistant Pam Broderick. Thank you so much for joining yes, us. Thank you for having us. So tell us a little bit about this Cupid Crew. Yes, Cupid Crew is a movement national wide to just spread awareness to our elderly population. And so home care assistance is lucky. This is our second year doing this, being able to go out into the community and deliver roses. And so we have had the opportunity to deliver last year was about 300 roses with Lincoln and Omaha offices. And this year we're going to do about almost 700 total, wow, 500 incredible. alone in Omaha. So yeah, it's really awesome. Um, that is due to also the fact that Baker's community um, off of 120th and West Center reached out to us to help with their heart to heart campaign. So six facilities will be touched tomorrow, um, delivering to all of those residents. That's so, really yeah. something. Now, one in five Americans are 65 and older and struggle with social isolation. What does this mean to them when they when they get that flower? And that oh, consent? they love it. They really, um, they're like, me, why me? You know, oh. and so why not you? And so being able to just spend like a minute or two with them to just talk with them and they really love the interaction and the people coming through, especially the kids coming in and helping join, so yeah. I bet you have some great stories visiting them. Oh yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. They really enjoy it. So they, they get excited if we come back. So what inspired you to become a part of this and get this going? Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do in my position. Um, my, my job title is to hire the caregivers that go into our homes of our elderly. Um, so they asked that I would take this on and I just lit up because I love being able to do that. I'm a small town girl. So <laughs> being able to make those connections. Um, and so every year we hope to grow bigger and bigger and being able to do that. So. And I'm sure the biggest thing that people get out of this is is the visit itself, yes. having someone to talk to. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, being able to do that is the best joy. Yeah, so. that's that's wonderful. And tomorrow you'll be at Old Mill Rehab. Take us through what the day yeah. will be like. So we have six facilities lined up for tomorrow, and so we are going to um, time those out. We have team leads for each one, and we have great volunteers from Millard South High School um, Student Council. They oh, did it with wonderful. us last year, so um, we got more this year to even help us, so that really helps us being able, everyone will have 10 to 12 roses to give an individual, so they'll mm -hmm. have a little more one-on-one -on -one time being able to do that, so. And there there are cities across the country that are involved yes. in this. Yes, wow. Cupid Crew is a nationwide movement, so they reached out to the home care assistants and we we're like, yes, we're doing this, so it's really awesome. So how can how can our viewers be involved? Yes, so there is um, a website, the Cupid Crew, um, Wish of a Lifetime, you can go on there and you can donate towards the cause. And so every year they do this and you can donate to that and being able to deliver roses from there. So yeah. wonderful. Well, Pam Broderick, thank you so much yes, for joining us. You. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Thanks, Day you and too. all the people that you visit. <laughs> thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay connected with Three Dooms Now. Are you an ocean? No. Are you edible? No. Um. So I was at Marshall's just browsing, and I see this jean jacket. I put it on, popped the collar, and looked at the brand. And when I saw the price tag, I was like, oh yeah, this is a keeper. It goes with everything. If I'm wearing yoga pants, I wear my jean jacket. If I'm going out, I wear my jean jacket. I can go on dinner dates with my husband, like to the movies, and it just works. It's my, it's my go-to jacket. Brands that wow, prices that thrill. Marshalls, your surprise is waiting. Make the President's Holiday a savings holiday for flooring with Nebraska Furniture Mart. Explore our huge selection of carpet, hardwood, ceramic tile, area rugs, and more. 
Then take 10% off the already low Mart price. These flooring savings are amazing. Plus, there's August 2022 financing available. Whatever style, texture, or color you need, now is the time to buy. Take an extra 10% off your choice of flooring during the President's Holiday Event at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Last year, Shen Yun sold out theaters everywhere. Don't miss your chance to experience the magic. Get your tickets today. Returning to Orpheum Theater, February 25th through the 26th. Tickets at ShenYun.com slash Omaha. This weather alert forecast sponsored by Elite Exteriors. Roofing, siding, windows, and storm damage. Surprise, surprise, it is freezing cold outside this morning. Three below right now in Omaha. Carroll, nine below zero. Again, these are actual air temperatures, not even the wind chill. Spencer, negative 14. You can see much of Nebraska in those negative temperatures, but a little bit warmer out towards the panhandle. Temperatures there are in the teens. Des Moines right now also very cold at negative nine. But let's factor the wind in and see just how pleasant it is outside this morning. Negative 26 is the wind chill in Omaha. And look at that Spencer, Iowa, and even towards Mason City, both at negative 38 on that wind chill. Even the color table just disappears eventually because there's no color set to be that cold for the wind chill temperatures. Again, Broken Bow right now feeling like negative 15. Grand Island right now at negative 20 for that wind chill. So it's cold everywhere, but especially here. Thankfully, though, the snow from last night, it was light. Didn't really cause many problems, but it's out of here. The clouds are moved out of here, and we're going to see lots of sunshine throughout the day. But don't worry, that snow out there towards the uh, western half of the state, it's going to stay off to our west and down to the south. Now, some good news finally. Let's talk about cute puppies. This is Choice, our Nebraska Humane Society dog of the day. He is just a year and a half old, so obviously has plenty of energy in him at this age. But we are told he likes to uh, learn new tricks and learn new games, so he's uh, very motivated to learn and be a good boy. Uh, so again, he's looking for his forever home and his forever family. Go check him out at the Humane Society, if not plenty of other great options out there as well. Now again, for the dog walks today, oh, those poor parents and the poor puppies. Make sure everyone's wearing their coats. Chip wore his coat this morning when we went outside. Uh, for lunch break, we're heading around five degrees at that point. When you get home from work, we'll be near the highs of the day at 14. But hey, lots of sunshine throughout the day. The problem is by nine o'clock, we are back down into those single digits. Watch 3 News Now anytime on your Apple TV or streaming device. So the snow is here, and that snow is already covering many roadways. Can reach you, but the rest of us have been seeing the snow now for a little while. Once the snow does. Yeah, on my way. I'll be fine. Join us now. Jen? Well, Jenny, I mean, this morning we did have the heaviest round of snow that moved through. Here that is. started coming to an end. And With Long John Silver's $10 C-Shares, you can choose from our fish, chicken, shrimp, or crab cakes and get enough for your crew to share. Each for just 10 bucks. Long John Silver's. Fish yeah! Seriously? Seriously. Seriously? 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 Seriously. Seriously? Seriously? If you didn't plan for it, you're not planning. From here forward, Edelman Financial Engines. I was trying to skateboard with Jack. <laughs> so let me get this straight. In the last month, you broke your wrist. Yep. Jack needed stitches. He had to be okay right after dinner. Alicia's peanut allergy landed her in the ER. And don't forget my dad's lung infection popping up <laughs> over the holiday weekend. Boy, you are keeping your doctors busy. And the immediate care and the emergency room. Pretty much all of Nebraska medicine. Sounds like you're a regular. Oh yeah, definitely. We need to keep you well. Extraordinary care where and when you need it most. Nebraska medicine. Feeling sluggish or weighed down can be a sign your digestive system isn't working at its best. Taking Metamucil every day can help. Its psyllium fiber forms a gel that traps and removes the waste that weighs you down. It also helps lower cholesterol and slows sugar absorption, promoting healthy blood sugar levels. So start feeling lighter and more energetic by taking Metamucil every day.
Take the Metamucil two-week challenge. Lighten up. Just take Metamucil every day for two weeks. Available at your local retailer. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Get 0 for 75 months on F-150 and 2,750 cash plus 1,000 Kansas City Chiefs Championship cash. Your official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. This is KMTV 3 News Now, this morning. Good morning, I'm Maya Sines. Thanks for starting your Thursday with us. And I'm Courtney Johns. Today is February 13th, and we'll have a look at this morning's top stories in just a moment. Yeah, but first be sure to bundle up yes. because it is so cold outside mm -hmm. today. Let's go ahead and take a look at our forecast with meteorologist Mark Sitz. Yeah, Mark, I'm surprised you're not wearing your gloves right now. Uh, believe me, I had them on this morning. My, <laughs> my car was a rough start to work. I think by the time I finally got to like I-80, it was a little bit warmer, but uh, it's, it's It rough takes out a there. while. <laughs> Yeah, it just seems like, I mean, the car just continues to struggle to heat things up even when it does warm up. But anyway, it's cold this morning. No surprise there. We've been talking about this cold snap all week long. And one of the things I do want to point out, we don't typically talk about the dew point temperature this time of year because it's more of a measure of humidity for the summertime. But what it also shows us any time in the year is the coldest we can get this morning if we had perfect cooling conditions. Now, thankfully, we don't have perfect cooling conditions, but we could go as low as negative 12. Again, that's not going to happen, but that's in the realm of possibility is physically capable of happening this morning. Luckily, we're only at negative three. So again, just want to show you it could be a little bit worse out there this morning than it actually is. And of course, with those strong winds out of the north right now at 20 miles per hour, it feels like we are at negative 26. Now, the light snow from yesterday evening is gone. The clouds are gone. So we are going to enjoy a lot of sunshine out there uh, through the entire day today and even Friday looking mostly sunny. So next couple of days, uh, it's going to look nice outside. It's just not going to feel nice outside. Elkhorn, Gretna, you guys are both at negative five. Carter Lake coming at negative three and negatives across the board on the rest of our cities as well. La Vista five under Springfield negative three and Plattsmith a little bit more toasty down there. If you want to head south negative one, but of course those winds strong for them as well. Now for the kiddos at the bus stop again, bundle them up nice and tight, dress in layers and make sure you're covering up as much as their skin as possible, including their face, wrap a scarf around whatever you need to do to keep them warm and help reduce that risk of frostbite. When they come home from school this afternoon, it's still going to be cold out there right around 12 degrees, but thankfully at that point some lighter wind and also a whole lot of sunshine. But again, just a very cold day overall today. Now, hopefully those buses are uh, starting up and warming up for the kiddos and also a little concern of your car starting up. So let's take a look at that. Getting your car ready starts with a trip to your mechanic to check under the hood. Get your fluids topped off and have your antifreeze checked. In this area, you want to make sure that the antifreeze tests to negative 30 below. But you won't even get started without a good charge. If your battery is four years or older, get it tested. The last thing anybody wants is to be out someplace, it's snowing, and all of a sudden the car doesn't start. And with slippery roads, you'll want to get your tire tread measured. We want to make sure that they're wearing properly, so there's no excessive edge wear, um, nothing that would be a red flag. Make sure people can see you by checking your lights and signals and make sure you can see them. Definitely make sure that your wiper blades are in good condition so they're not streaking because obviously when you get like snow or rain, I mean that could be a visibility problem. Now that a mechanic has your car ready, it's up to you to do the rest. Start by throwing some bottled water and snacks in the car in case you get stranded. And then also things for added traction, such as a small bag of sand. Some people say a bag of kitty litter will even work. But that won't always get you moving. Have a blanket and extra warm clothing with you. Uh, particularly things like mittens and gloves, warm socks, uh, a really warm hat. Don't forget jumper cables, a phone charger, and a snow and ice scraper. Now, there are ways you can help others avoid the dangerous cold. Along with our sponsor, Godfather's Pizza, we're collecting new or gently used coats, hats, gloves, and scarves. All of those items will be going to the Heartland Hope Mission to help those in need. Donations can be dropped off at Godfather locations in our area and also at our station. All right, and right now there is a big movie that is co that is coming out of here. An Omaha-based film is being screened tonight on the UNO campus. Out of Omaha is a film being screened at 6 p.m. at College of Community Affairs. It follows two brothers as they come of age dealing with racial issues in Omaha. Now, 3 News Night reporter Daniel Davis shows us how the film examines what it takes to try to overcome systematic injustice.
Maya and Cordy, I tell you what, this film is a true labor of love. Now, it follows two twin brothers, one who's being accused of murder. Now, the film gives us a gritty look at their real life struggles. Now, systematic racism plays a big part. This film won the Omaha Film Festival Best Documentary in 2018, as well as several other awards. This documentary is being shown on the UNO campus as part of their Black History Month program. There's never a, a right time to be talking about racism and justice. It is, we always need to be having these conversations. Um, so I think that's really important. Um, that Beyond Black History Month, that we continue to discuss these issues um, and how we can create a more equal society in our, in our city. Following the 6 p.m. screening, there will be a question and answer session with the movie creators and actors. Now, they're really excited about this because they say they feel as though it's really important to keep the conversation going and to move forward as a people and as a community here in Omaha. This is Danielle Davis, Local 3 News. Maya and Courtney, back to you. All right, well, the temperature right now is negative three, which Oof. is cold. <laughs> now, we didn't want to send reporter Kent Lutzen out in the cold all morning, so he'll be coming in and out of our studios today to show you some unique things that can only be done out in these frigid temperatures. Yeah, so he has a few freezing challenges set up, including turning boiling water into snow. And he joins us live. Kent, I know you were outside for a second. I, I think you might be inside now just because it's been so frigid out there. That's right, Courtney and Maya, we are inside right now because we are going to get this boiling water out of the microwave. So we're going to pull it out of the microwave here and we're going to take it immediately outside. So this has to be boiling water and you're going to take it outside and I'll show you what it does here. The goal here is that it will essentially turn into snow. But a tip real quick is do not throw the water above your head when you're doing this because you don't want boiling water to land on your head, obviously. So let's see if it works here. I'm going to toss it to the side. All right, three, two, one. Voila! So that's what boiling water does if you throw it into the air when it's really cold outside. Now we also have been showing you this t-shirt the whole morning. And look at this, it is still ice. I'm gonna slam it against here. This is the t-shirt that's been out here for only about two hours. We dipped it in water, obviously pretty cold there. And I do wanna just say one more thing real quick. I know people are starting to get ready for work. They're starting to get outside, go warm up their cars. Um, just make sure you're bundled up. Make sure you have hats, gloves, a nice coat, maybe some boots even, and make sure your car has enough time to warm up. Mine took a while to kind of get going this morning, but these are some really nice gloves. Um, I put one of those little hand warmers, there's a little zipper in there. So if you have the opportunity to do that, get some hand warmers as well. I got them for Costco, they're pretty cheap. Oh my gosh, Ken, it's just looked so cold out there. I know you prepped beforehand knowing you were going to be outside, but is there anything now that you've been out there that you wish you would have had, like uh, an extra scarf or maybe an extra pair of socks? What, what's hurting the most out there right now? You know, um, I would say if I had a face mask, that would be the best because when that wind gets going, it really starts to impact your face. But I do want to say I have um, long underwear on. I can't believe I just admitted that on TV. I have my work pants on and I have some windbreakers and I have about four layers underneath this jacket. So um, it's actually not too bad if you prepare. So um, just make sure you're staying warm this morning. Reporting live from outside the KMTV studio, I'm Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now. Back to you guys. Traffic Now is sponsored by Rebath. Full bathroom remodels made effortless. Schedule an in-home design appointment today. A couple of accidents have just been reported. The first one comes in at Dodge Street, just west of I-680 in the westbound lanes. Two-vehicle accident there. Once again, just west of I-680 on Dodge Street. Traffic in that area has not begun to back up yet, but it could cause issues as, major, uh, as the commuters begin to hit the roadways. Our second accident just came in, Highway 370, Westbound lanes at Golden Street, that's close to 34th Street. Other than that, no major delays to report. L Street, Kennedy Freeway, and uh, even Dodge, even though that accident are at or above their posted speed limits. I'm Dan Taylor, and that's your 3 News Now update. 
All right, well, it's that time in the morning where we take a look at the stories or videos that you'll be talking about today. Yeah, so we did a story a few months ago about how Crocs are making a comeback. Mm, I don't buy it still. Oh, don't fight it, Mark. Don't <laughs> fight it. Well, we now know that there are KFC Crocs. Oh. Mm, I know, right? The footwear company and fast food chain have created the KFC X Crocs Buckets Clog. The limited edition shoe is covered in a fried chicken print. The base has the iconic KFC red stripe bucket look, and it comes with two attachable charms that look and ugh, smell like fried chicken. Oh, Gotta love that. It will be available in unisex sizes this spring, so we can all have a pair. <laughs> I don't know about how I feel about the smell. Yeah, I mean, or the look. I guess I do like. I mean, if they weren't Crocs, <laughs> I like the look of the design. How it's the bucket on the bottom and the chicken on the top. So I do like the way it looks, but it's making me hungry. Well, I don't know if that was it's the working. <laughs> yeah, maybe there you go. <laughs> and Gerber is looking for a new spokes baby. Kids up to four years old are eligible to win. In addition to becoming the face of Gerber for a year, the winning baby will receive a $25,000 grand prize. The parents have until February 21st to submit photos and videos of their little one. And my sister's due, and she sent it to me yesterday. Her baby's due April 6th, so we missed it by just a little over a month. It's always next year. It's I know. Always, maybe send an ultrasound photo. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look, he looks pretty good already. So maybe, maybe there's some possibility there. <laughs> I'm surprised, honestly, it's not more than twenty-five grand. I I, what you want? You expect more yeah. for your baby? I mean, for a kid to be a face of a company for a year? Yeah, I, that's, that's a good true. point. I mean, it's good money though. Balls, right? Yeah. <laughs> a low-calorie beverage called Dirty Lemon is coming Ugh. to Walmart, but it's pretty pricey. A one-time purchase of six bottles costs sixty-five dollars. That's nearly eleven bucks a bottle. Three varieties will be available: Dirty Lemon Charcoal, Dirty Lemon Collagen, and Dirty Lemon Ginseng. The drinks were originally sold by text message or online. I don't like the name. It just sounds what dirty. What does that mean? I don't want dirty water. Period. I, Does that I mean there's it. alcohol in it? The word dirty or what? I don't, I don't get it. I don't what know. We'll it? do some research. <laughs> <laughs> well, so to come in our cheap beats tip of the week, love is in there as we head to Bella Vita and Elkhorn for an Italian Valentine's experience. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And an absolutely frigid morning. Current temperature negative three, but the wind making it feel like negative 26. Bundle up, dress in layers, and cover up as much skin as possible. It's going to be cold this afternoon, but eventually warm up on the way. We'll detail it out coming up. Would you like to reduce your monthly payments or lower your interest rate? Why not both? Pay down your debt with help from Viridian Credit Union. Let us help you consolidate your debt and save with our great rates on home equity loans, Visa credit cards, personal loans, and other options. Saving you more. That's the value of Viridian. Go to viridiancu.org to apply today or to schedule an appointment at a branch near you. Ready, set, crawl. Nebraska Furniture Mart is inviting their littlest customers to compete for exciting prizes. Join us Saturday and bring your 15-month or younger child. Prizes will go to the three fastest babies. While you're here, enter to win a baby bundle including a crib, dresser, glider, and crib mattress. Explore nursery furniture, crib mattresses, baby bedding, decor, and more. Plus, shop with August 2022 financing on qualifying purchases. Ready, set, crawl, and save February 15th only at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Anthony's Steakhouse, 50 years of sizzle, sizzling steaks, mouth-watering crab legs, fresh seafood daily, local brews and classy cocktails, family recipes passed down from generation to generation. Anthony's Steakhouse, 50 years of sizzle. Why settle for a one-size-fits-all window replacement solution? Let Renewal by Anderson make your window replacement project the best home improvement project you've ever done. Get 2020 windows at 2019 pricing throughout the month of February. Plus, special financing, no money down, no interest, no payments until 2021. Visit rbabestoffer.com today. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. 
Welcome back. Time now 642. Now every week we check out a restaurant known for quality food. And with tomorrow being Valentine's Day, we search for a place that combined tasty dishes with a dash of love. In today's Cheap Beats Tip of the Week, I found I didn't have to travel far to find a romantic option. With it being so close to Valentine's Day, love is in the air, so we want to stay with the romance theme and come to Bella Vida in Elkhorn, where every meal will make you fall in love. In the heart of Elkhorn, you can find exquisite Italian dishes and wine. So we've got California wines, Oregon wines, wines from Italy, um, wines from New Zealand. Uh, and we have them for, you know, six months to a year, and then sometimes we'll bring in featured wines. At Bella Vita, you can have a fun girls' night, special family outing, and romantic evenings. We're very knowledgeable about um, wine and about the menu, and so we can pair things good for you. And we just want to make it a good experience. And um, I think the music and the lighting, we dim the lights at nighttime. Oh, um, okay. And we just make it really, really personable. We do get to see a lot of, like, first dates and yes. anniversaries yes. here. Yes, we've had um, first dates. We've had people who come back every year because this was their first date Aww. or they got married on our patio. It's a favorite for customers like Andrea Christner. So have you been here for a date night? Yes, I have. Okay, do you like it? I love it. They, like I said, fantastic service. It's really close to my house and it's just kind of tucked away and it's always busy here. It's a nice sit down place for a date night and I think old downtown Elkhorn is so charming. She loves the bruschetta and if you come back in the kitchen and you can see why people keep coming back. Yeah, it's so good. What is that happening? very fresh, the sausage, and it's so good. It's a little spicy, but not oh. spicy, spicy. Not too bad. The kitchen staff, including Graciela, prepare some muy bene dishes, like their chicken capri sandwich with basil mayo, fresh grilled chicken, and toppings. The chicken pesto pasta is marvelous, and their salmon griglia with basil and fettuccine noodles is also quite delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> Kevin and Terry, you guys own this place. Yes. How long ago did you guys meet? I think it's been about 47 years. 47 years? Wow. Married 40 and dated for seven. That's good. You don't see that anymore that often. No, well. So she hasn't you, got rid of me yet. What do you think is so romantic about wine and Italian food? Wine. The wine. Even <laughs> 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 yeah. a couple bottles, it'll feel pretty yeah. romantic. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> After half a bottle of wine, you feel good. Yeah. yeah. As for the food, love at first bite. This is already beyond amazing. Mm. Good. Okay. okay. I just fell in love with it. Easily could be a romantic scene. You'll find an enchantment to eat. The sauce. It's incredible, isn't it? It's, is that pesto? Mm -hmm. Pesto, yeah. And the cheese, obviously anything with cheese is amazing. Yeah. Tomatoes, but that sauce. Yeah. Is that the Basil different? pesto. I love cheese, so I would say in another life, I would have been Italian if I wasn't Mexican. <laughs> you can always the doctor so to be Italian. Mm -hmm. Just tell people you're Italian. Exactly. Yeah. Or maybe marry an Italian. Yeah. You know, <laughs> have the best of both worlds. What advice would you give to someone younger who's maybe looking for a 40s year marriage, you know, starting out? What would you say? Uh, just say yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. Is the easiest way to do it, yeah. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> And you can ask any guy that, and they'll all say the same thing. Yes, dear. It's got to be like, take me to Bella Vita. Yes, yes dear. dear. As for the storks, they want every dining experience for their customers to be personal. Everybody wants to go to where they know your name. And we try very hard to remember people. Our servers try to remember people. And uh, when they come in, it's first name basis. You want to know people that are... I here. want to know who yeah. you are. The place can be a bit pricier for dinner, but quite the steal for lunch. This is a, this is a, a cute, elegant place. Yeah. So this is probably affordable for lunch. Yes. A little bit more upscale for right. evening. Yeah. Right. Yeah, most of them are priced at $7.99. For lunch. And then yeah. dinner, what do your prices look like for dinner? Uh, from uh, 13 to 20. Well, you got a lot to eat, girl. You'd be surprised, no. Are you gonna help me? No, he okay. helps. He, okay. That's his job. He does that and then he, <laughs> he, does he helps it. because there's no way. <laughs> I probably could, but I like it there. <laughs> Do 
Great place there. Now you can find Bella Vita Ristorante in Elkhorn at the corner of North Main and Elkhorn Drive. It's open every day of the week and the address and hours are on your screen.